What's going on everybody? So the GOAT, Matt Markow, has just announced that now you can be 16 years old to compete in the Madden sanctioned events for competitive series points. That's very, very huge because a lot of people didn't have the opportunity to play last year. One of those dudes being Joe LCP, he was really, really good in Madden, but he, I think he just turned 18 later on in the year and he's able to do it. What I'm gonna need you guys to do is go and rep G Myers World though while you're at these sanctioned events next year. Depending on how the game is, I don't know if I'll be around, but you guys need to go ahead and rock this. It'll definitely enhance your Madden rage and that's guaranteed. Go ahead and click the link in the description to see the other things that are available. But let's go ahead and talk about the fact that now you can be 16 and what that means for Madden. Um, a lot of people have argued that over the over the last couple of years, it's been more geared towards younger children, uh, which makes sense because that's gonna make you more money. And when you're thinking about it, uh, why wouldn't they do it? The only thing though, is that these are high school kids and depending on, you know, most of the kids, like for the, for the most part, when you think about a Madden player, you think about a pothead that's kind of overweight that just sits around in a game chair and just plays the game all day and stuff like that. But that's not every Madden player, as you guys, you know, have seen um, uh, watching it live on Twitch uh, with these sanctioned events. A lot of these guys do different things. They, they, they're active. Um, I know Boogs is a vegan. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you guys don't know who uh, uh, Boogs is, uh, but you guys can go check them out. Just Google them or something like that. I don't know, whatever. But the bottom line is everybody is different, but uh, giving everybody an opportunity at, at 16 now, it may turn out to be a lot better than we thought because the, the youth know how to find things. They know how to figure things out. You know, dudes like Young Kim, you know, coming up in Madden 16 before it was patched was one of the most lethal blitzers out there. Dudes were setting nobody and dudes were just coming in and sacking people. Um, they're, they're, they're much more inclined to find certain things, but where the veterans come in is the pressure of the game stage. You know what I'm saying? Guys like Problem that's been doing it for a while, they know how to deal with it. See, people don't understand the main stage, and if you've never been in anything that's involved the main stage, if uh, you know, you've never been part of a sports team that was really, really good and you make it to the playoffs, uh, you know, me, myself, I've, I've done things on very, very high stages with sports, with a lot of different things. So, you know, I would be good doing it. It's just the fact that if these were Maddens, like, you know, 10, 11, 12, I would be there. But 16, 17, th those games weren't my cup of tea. Um, it, it was really, really wild and ridiculous actions that were going on. But yet still, you know, I'm still ranked in the top 100. It's not something to where I can't adjust. It's just that the game is very, very frustrating to me based on some of the mechanics that's either been removed or new ones that have been installed. And, um, you know, just going forward, I think that EA uh, allowing 16-year-olds, and remember, you got to have a parent or guardian with you. Uh, when you do do that. So just get an uncle or something that's not doing something. Everybody got a drunk uncle that probably gonna be still drunk off the henny hen hen. Just take him with you. Just don't make him drive. Take the train, take something out. Just don't make him drive you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, drunk driving is unacceptable. But just get to the tournaments and um, figure out how to portion your schoolwork and things like that and get it done. Cause that's the only thing that I have an issue with. I don't want it to take away based on the way the schedules are and um, how the sanctioned events are put out. It may affect people's school schedules, and I know a lot of parents are like, nah, you ain't doing that. Some parents may support it, some parents won't, depending on how good you are, but make sure you have your priorities straight. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you know that you know your grades are right, things like that are getting done before you even pursue it. But again, it's a it's a huge step for EA Sports and Madden as, as a franchise to continue to grow because um, we have to be honest about it. A lot of the uh, old school, he dropped that? A lot of the old school uh, Madden players um, that used to play it back in the day. They've given up Madden after 16. And, um, you know, for whatever reason, we have a lot of new people that are coming in and things like that. And as we know, when things are growing, yeah, drop that too. When things are growing, it's best to continue to, you know, to advertise and to get things out because it just makes it work better. So having this right now, it, it, it can work two ways, right? Because we know the youth nowadays are savage animals and they don't care. And it, it, they're a little bit more reckless. They, they run around listening to little Yachty, little Uzi Vert. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they listen to the tunnel vision. I, look, I don't know what's going on with today's youth, but we, we, we'll get to see now how it works out with, with these age groups together. Um, the tournaments will be a lot more competitive in my opinion, because there are those prodigies out there that people don't know about, that don't get a chance, that are gonna be able to grind now. And there's those Madden junkies that are very, very young that are probably looking up right now like, wow, I'm about to be 16, I'm about to do this. And they got skill. And it's, it's gonna be very, very, I, I, look, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it. Whether I'll be a part of it, I don't know yet. I have to wait to play the game. 
Um, if the game is decent, I will, you know, take part in some of these things that go on. Uh, but for the most part, I'm probably going to go to a couple of tournaments this year just to see some of these guys that, um, that, I, that, you know, that I've seen on stream and things like that and see how they are in person. But uh, I just want to say congratulations to Matt Markow, the competitive series uh, organization, and uh, everybody that has something to do with that, that part, that segment. Because those guys do a really good job setting up the brackets and things like that. And you guys got to remember, there's a, there's a lot of different parts of how everything comes together. And, um, you know, I'm going to give credit to the guys that are out there doing what they got to do and um, definitely step up when things uh, happen. And people that respond, like Matt Markow responds to people. He's, he doesn't think he's on a high horse and things like that. He, he you know, he, he responds and does things like that. Um, if you are within the proper uh, questioning and not just, you know, just doing whatever. Um, so I'm very, very excited to see how that'll turn out with 16 year olds being amongst these older guys that are, you know, saying that they're raw and stuff like that. I do expect dudes to get flooded on a regular basis um, because just because you think you can play, that doesn't mean anything with Madden uh, over the last couple of years. It's been a very inconsistent type of game. And even if you look at that that, that championship game with, um, what was it, like the semifinals with uh, Serious Mo and Problem, Serious Mo was supposed to win that in my opinion, but Problem Right got a crazy, wild, vicious, I don't know what kind of catch it was on the right side, probably something like that where your guy just moves out the way. And um, you know, those things are very, very frustrating. And do I think that that would be a part of Madden 18? If I'm being honest, yes. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not being honest, no. But I have no reason to not be honest, so I think yes. I think it's going to be a part of what Madden 18 will be. I think that that's something that they think is okay as far as the developers go. And um, we'll have to see how that works out because the younger people may enjoy that a lot more than the veterans do. But the veterans adjust. Because I don't think years ago probably would be screaming out dot when that thing happened. But a dot is just anything nowadays, so it doesn't really matter. It is what it is. And um, we just have to continue to go forward and figure out what we have to do right there. I just want, I'm going to slow this down for you so you can see exactly what's going on and why I didn't partake in any Madden 17 tournaments this year. Look at this. Just, just watch it. Like, I, the, see, those balls usually just drop on the ground. And you know what's funny about things like that? Watch what's going to happen after he does this. Like, he's going to go through it. He's going to do everything. And I left it so you guys can see it. So everybody can see exactly what's going on, right? Look at what happens. The EA Sports is going to challenge it. They're going to challenge the play. Obviously, you can see that whatever. He had, probably had control of the ball while he was rubbing it all over the ground. It doesn't really matter, right? But the thing I really like about EA Sports, when their BS like outweighs the game itself, in most cases, things like this will happen. Like It's going to freeze or something like that. Like The game will disconnect and nobody will get the win. Like Crazy things will happen. And I think that's just the EA gods justifying their own actions. Like I think they want to see infinite rage and you got to be prepared for that and the younger you are the more dangerous it is in my opinion now, i don't know how madden 18 is going to be none of us know because we haven't seen gameplay except for the guys that's been playing it every day and you know that are the developers but we have to wait to see exactly what happens because i just don't know bro i just don't know if this is a safe environment like this game right here i, I when that happened to me live on stream i didn't know what to do look at this guy he don't know what to do and it just happens sometimes and it's been happening regularly over 16 and 17. It is what it is. Now, this guy, I know he's not a DC glitcher because when I was playing him, he had just got blown up by somebody else that was in my stream. So I'm just giving you guys examples of why I wasn't able to stomach Madden 17. Hopefully Madden 18 will be better. Congratulations to the 16 year olds and I. One love.